Hey there, it's Tally from Bravo, and today I'm going to walk you through how to price a general merchandise item that has just reached its pawn or buy hold period. When loans and buys expire, they are automatically moved into your pricing queue, and you can make use of all of the same pricing tools as found when you brought the item in. So let's take a look. Items waiting to be priced can be found in two locations on the dashboard. First, from the task manager, by selecting price items, this takes us directly into the pricing screen, or we can access the pricing screen on the right hand side of the menu, selecting the drop down on inventory and then choosing price items. We have a lot of different item types here, and so to make pricing easier, you can actually just sort them by category. Selecting an item from within the grid will then display the data. If you know without doing any research what do you want to price the item for, then you can just navigate to the left and complete the following fields. Location. This is where your item is going to be located, either on the showroom floor or in back stock. The MSRP or the manufacturer's suggested retail price. And then the price, and that's what your shop intends to sell the item for. Selecting accept will save the changes and it's going to place the item into an inventory status. It's also going to add the item to the print tags queue. The next item is one that needs some research done. We will make use of the estimator and have Bravo auto populate the MSRP by model and price based on the value of the item and your store's unique price multiplier. Once we have selected an item, we will then select estimator. Notice how an MSRP and price are already present. Adjusting the condition rating of the item will in turn adjust the price. The Google, Buy It, and eBay quick launch buttons located here allow us to do independent research. We can also make use of Bravo's powerful product data in the price guide summary or the price guide report. When the price guide report is selected, Bravo automatically displays the sales price guide. Note, it's not displaying the pawn or buy guides. With our research done and our price in place, select next. Our final step is to add the location. Clicking accept, save the changes and places the items in inventory status while also adding the item to the print tags queue. Once you are done or at any time, if you wanna print your inventory tags, select print tags from the right hand menu here. Note that the tags are listed by type and queued by the employee that clicked accept to make the changes. The newest tags are at the bottom. Select your tag by clicking to highlight and then choose print selected. If you wanna print all of the tags, then just select print all. To select more than one tag, hold the control key on your keyboard and left click with your mouse at the same time and then choose print selected. Once tags are printed, they are marked with a check in the box to the right as seen here. These tags are removed from the list if delete printed is selected. Now the tags have printed to the general merchandise or jewelry label printers and that's it. For additional questions, give us a call at 888-407-6287. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you.